When you're first getting started with Go High Level, it can be really confusing because Go High Level has so much within the platform. And even though Go High Level is such a powerful tool, it's really hard to know where you should get started sometimes. So if you're just getting started with Go High Level, I'm gonna be posting different videos on my channel about different business models that you can focus on when first signing up with Go High Level. So today we're gonna to be focusing on one of my favorite business models and that is reputation management. All right, so let's get started with the why, the what, and the how. So why is this important to business owners or should be important to business owners? What problem we're actually gonna be solving and how we're gonna actually go out and do it and make money doing it. So why is this important to business owners? Well, first off, 87% of people will not buy a product or get a service done by a business that has lower than a four-star rating. And stat number two that's extremely important is 75 to 90% of people are estimated to never scroll past the first page on Google when searching for a business. So businesses are in this constant race of how do we get frequent reviews and good star ratings so that we can stay on that first page and make sure that we're very searchable in the local area to increase leads and prospects that are coming in to eventually convert to business. And the thing is, most small business owners know that this is something that they need to focus on. I mean, think about yourself for a second. When you've looked up a service in your local area that you needed to get done or something that you're gonna go get, like a haircut, a car detail, a plumber, whatever it might be, have you ever scrolled past the first page on Google? So this is where you can utilize Go High Level and solve this problem for the business owner. You build a reputation management agency that automates reviews, sends reminder texts, and help businesses climb to that 4.5 to five star rating to consistently get leads in the door. And if you can set up the system to automate this, they will happily pay you for it. Now I have a completely free course in the description below that goes really in depth about building out a business with Go High Level. It talks about starting from ground zero, building out your services, demoing clients, closing those clients, and everything else in between. But let me quickly show you how this works with inside of Go High Level so that you can get a high level view. I didn't mean to make that joke, but that I guess that makes sense. So you can get a high level view of how this works. All right, so let's actually jump into the Go High Level platform so you can get a good overview of what this looks like. Now, like I mentioned, there's a free course down below that goes really in depth on how to build out all these services. But if you've never been in the Go High Level platform before, when you log in, this is what it's gonna look like. Don't pay attention to this. This is just a custom homepage that I have built out. But on the left side here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and find this little star symbol for reputation. Now, this is gonna be the dashboard. This is a dummy account, so nothing is attached to it right now. But when you come into here, you are going to be able to connect the business owner's Google page and Facebook page so that they can see an overview of their star ratings. What are their averages coming in on a monthly basis? Um, they can manually send a review request, which is great. But the true power behind all of this is being able to automate this for the business owners. Now, what's really neat about Go High Level is when you are sending out review requests with a link through Go High Level, if someone does end up leaving, you know, a one, two, three star review, that will actually will go directly to the business owner. So they have the opportunity to resolve that concern. And then any four or five star reviews will immediately go and push out to Google or whatever other page, you know, they're sending a review request for. So let's go over the basics here so you can see how to get started. So number one, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to settings. Now under settings, this is where you're going to be able to set up your SMS requests, your email requests, and you can make these very customizable, but I'll show you exactly what this looks like. So when you come into here, what you can go ahead and do is just create a new template and you can either start from scratch or you can have a pre-built template. We'll go ahead and just start from scratch here. And then you'll see here, it's going to pop up this little phone symbol or this phone icon so you can see what it looks like. And then it's pretty self-explanatory at this point, right? Um, you can add in images, you can add in a text, and this is gonna be the review request that goes out uh, once you trigger that automation. All right, and then for emails, it's the same exact thing. You can come down here, create a new template from scratch. You can select from the template library. You'll see here, I already have a template in here. So if you just preview this, you can see what it looks like. So this is what the email will look like when it comes in. They can hit write a review. And then once again, it will take them directly to Google, Facebook, wherever you wanna link that. The other thing about this too, that's really neat is I don't know if you've ever walked into a restaurant before and you've seen a QR code like on their front desk or within their window through go high level, you can actually produce these QR codes for the business owners as well. So if you are serving local businesses or even just businesses that are out of state, great. You can print this out and, and send it to them, or you can send it to them via email and then they can print out the QR code to post up um, as well. So anyway, 
Um, that's the first step. So go into your settings, get that, all that set up. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly mention here is you do have reviews AI. So when Google is looking for the businesses that they're going to be putting at the top of the page here. So this is just an example. I'm looking at uh, car detailers in the Nashville area. It's looking for three things. So number one, it's looking for number of total reviews. So how many total reviews does this business have? Number two, it's looking for the star rating of the reviews. And then number three is how frequent are these reviews coming in, right? Is it once a month? Is it once a week? Whatever it might be. But a bonus tip for a lot of business owners that they do not understand is another thing that Google looks at um, outside of the three main points that I just shared is responses to reviews. So Google likes to see business owners responding to the reviews to help boost them up on the Google listing here that I just showed. So why is Go High Level powerful? Because the first step of automating the system for the business owners is when you get it set up for them, you can actually turn on auto responses. So when people are leaving reviews with AI, those reviews will be responded to. So a great, great point with Go High Level as you're building out this business model. All right, now let's actually talk about how you're going to set up the automations for the business owner in order to connect this to their calendars. So it actually keeps track of when an appointment is completed or done, and then the review request is automatically sent. So you're gonna go into calendars over here on the left side, and when you're in calendars, you can set up a calendar for the business owner. Now you can either A, connect a calendar that they already have, or B, you can just set up the calendar right within the Go High Level platform. So in here, what you're gonna go ahead and do if you've never done this before is once you go into settings, you can do new calendar and there's different types of calendars that you can do. So let's just go ahead and do a round robin. So for this example, we'll pretend that we're a plumbing company and there's different technicians that we have that will go out and do appointments. Um, we can just do test plumbing. We'll give it a name. Um, you can select different team members that you want to be added to this calendar um, within Go High Level. So I'll just select one here just as an example. You're going to give it a custom URL. So we'll just do Bob's Plumbing Service. Sure. Um, how long are these appointments typically, right? So you can set them for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and then you can come down here and set your business hours. Now, the other part of this too, is obviously with this type of business, you are probably going to be, you know, driving between appointments and, and different things like that. So when you come into here, what you can actually go ahead and do is, uh, do your availability a little bit more in detail. And what I mean by this is you can actually give buffer time right between appointments. So say you need like 30 minutes to drive to the next appointment on average, whatever it might be. Um, you can go into advanced settings and get that all set up. Okay, once that's all set up and saved, then what you can go ahead and do is you can come back here and we're gonna go into automations. All right, so once you come into automations over here on the left side, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna create a workflow and you can just do start from scratch. Um, now I'm just gonna show you how to start this from scratch so you can do it yourself in case you don't have a snapshot or a template to work with. And we'll just do test automation, oh, can't spell, test automation for reviews. All right, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead in here and add a trigger. And what you can do is you can do appointment, uh, either status or customer uh, booked appointment. So we'll just go ahead and do customer booked appointment. And now you'll see here, now that we set up that calendar, you can select right here in the filters in calendar, and then you can do your calendar, right? So I just have test plumbing here as an example. So once they are booked into that calendar, into test plumbing, I'm gonna go ahead and do a next step, which is gonna be a text message. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch me type this out, but let me just go ahead and pause the video. I have a quick message. So I just said, hello, contact first name. We were looking forward to serving you. Your appointment is confirmed for apartment start date and time. See you soon. So what's awesome about Go High Level is you can put in these things called custom values. So these custom values, link right directly back to the contact, right? So you can put in their first name, you can put in appointments, you can connect it to calendars. There's so many things that you can do in here. So again, you're just automating this whole process, but still making it feel personalized along the way. So we're going to go ahead down here and hit save action. And then for the next part of this, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put in a wait step. Um, so we're just going to do wait. And then instead of doing a time delay, what we're going to do is a event slash booking time. So I'm going to go ahead and do event slash booking time. And we're going to do before and we'll do one day before, or you could do one hour, whatever it might be. We're going to go ahead and do save action. And then we're going to do another SMS. And we're just going to say, hello, first name. So contact first name. This is us confirming your appointment for Bob's plumbing tomorrow at, and then we'll put in another variable. 
And then I'm just going to show you how to do it. So you can just get the full picture this time. Um, so we'll go ahead and do appointment and we'll just do start time because obviously we're saying it's tomorrow and then period and we'll save action. So now what do we have going on here? So we got a trigger for the appointment. We got a confirmation text. We're waiting one day before, and then we're sending another text as a reminder. So this is going to help increase show rates. Now let's actually talk about the reputation management part, because now we're going to tie this all in. And after the appointment's completed, we're going to want to send a um, you know, a reputation request um, for Google or Facebook. All right. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to put in another wait step right here. And for this one, we're going to do event and booking time is after two hours. So we'll wait two hours. You can do one hour after you can do a day after whatever you want. And then we'll turn on another automation right here for review request. And we'll just do send review request. And then you'll see here, there's going to be different review types. So SMS, email, or WhatsApp. So in those settings that I showed earlier, where you set up that review request, you know, for your email, for SMS, whatever it might be, these are the templates that it's going to send out. So I'm going to go ahead and do SMS, and then we can go ahead and hit save action and then save it. And we're all done, right? So you can publish that, save it. And now that automation is built out for that business owner. Now, what's so beautiful about this is you can take this and copy your snapshot or your sub account. So as you're scaling up this business, what you can go ahead and do is have the same automations built out for each business owner, but you don't have to rebuild them from scratch every single time, right? You might have to make some tweaks here and there, um, but overall it will be very minimal for the changes that you need to make. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how this works. And again, you can go a little bit more in depth with the free course down below, but the idea for this video is just to, to give you a high level overview of the business model. Now, finally, let's talk about how to actually connect your uh, Google pages, your Instagram pages. It's pretty straightforward and simple, but I just want to make sure I tie off on that before we end this section of the video. What you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come down here to the bottom left and you're going to go to settings. All right. And then once you're in settings, you're going to come down here to integrations. And then you'll see here, you can connect your Google, my business profile, your Facebook and Instagram pages, your Google ads account, your Google Calendar, QuickBooks, and a variety of other platforms in here as well. So this is where you do it. It's very simple. You just hit connect, you log into your, your account, um, and then you'll be uh, good to go and everything will be integrated accordingly. All right, hopefully that gives you a quick overview of how this business model is built out. Let's go ahead and finish up this video. All right, I hope you found this helpful and it gets your brain spinning on different types of business models that you can start with Go High Level. Now, this is one of many, and I talk about so many others on my channel, but again, this is a very simple model, but very powerful model that so many business owners still need to this very day. And the best part is you can utilize tools like Go High Level so you don't have to start from scratch when building this online business. Now, if you're wanting to get started with Go High Level, I will put a link in the description to get an extended free trial of the platform. Whenever you use that link, I give all my affiliates, my automations, my templates, and everything else in between to help them get a much quicker start than what I had in the beginning. And on a final note, please leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Best of luck in your journey on starting an online business, and we'll see you in the next video.